Welcome to, Welcome to season season five, five episode twenty nine of Rocket Corner. Now it's, now time, it's time for the, for the National Day. Day. National Winston Churchill Day on April 9th commemorates the day he was made a honorary citizen of the United States. Well known for his leadership as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom during World War II, Winston Churchill earned his reputation through experience in both politics and the military. On this day in 1963, a Ceremony for honorary citizenship presided over the president, o over by President John F. Kennedy, took place for Winston Churchill. While Churchill was not present at the ceremony, his son and grandson attended. Now for the Toby's Top Five. Welcome back to this week's Top Five, and this week it's Stores, personally, one of my favorites. I'm going to start with five. Number five, I have Dollar General. The reason for Dollar General is because it's a store that everybody knows, and we even have one in our own hometown, Pandora. And Dollar General is a store that you can go to to get certain products, and for a very cheap cost, you can get drinks, food, snacks, toilet paper, and other household accessories. But Dollar General does not have some products that you will need, therefore you have to go to other stores. Number four, I have Ted's Market. The reason why Ted's Market is number four is because even though everybody knows Ted and his market and how it's been booming for a lot of years, even people can agree, uh, it's a store that is going down and Ted is getting back up to business. So Ted, if you ever see this or sometime, if you watch Rock Corner, that's for you. Love your store. Um, number three, I have Kohl's. Kohl's is a really good store when it comes to clothing brands because their clothes are really comfortable even though they're really expensive. They can be affordable sometimes, but overall Kohl's is a, is a clothing store that everybody can go to to buy certain clothes that they need. Number two, I have Walmart. Walmart is a store that, again, everybody knows and everybody loves Walmart because it is a store that you can go to to a day-to-day -day basis. You even have one in Ottawa, Bluffton, Lima, Finley area, around us in Putnam County. And it is a store that has all the essential goods that you need, food, clothing, shoes, makeup for your girls, or any household items that you will need in your life. Um, it's affordable too sometimes, depending on the thing that you're getting. And finally, I have Buckleby, one of my personal favorite stores at number one, because Buckle has really good products as long as clothes, hats, bracelets, necklaces, watches, and like shoes, like Hey Dudes, one of their well-known shoes. Um, I personally myself have two uh, pairs. Uh, they also have cologne, very expensive, along with their Hey Dudes. I personally have both of those from Buckle, cologne and shoes. The products are very good and I would recommend it a 10 out of 10. So that would be this week's top five stores. See you next week for the next top five. Fact of the day. Did you know that an armadillo shell is actually bulletproof? A day, a day in history, history with Silas. Yeah. On this day, in 1768, John Hancock refuses to allow two British customs agents to go below the deck of his ship. This is considered by some to be the first act of physical resistance to British authority in our colonies. Senior Spotlight. We are here with Brian Pugh today for your Senior Spotlight. Brian, how are you doing? Good, how are you, Reed? Pretty good. Uh, Brian, what college do you plan on attending? Plan on going to Bowling Green and majoring in business. Very good, and that's a very popular choice around here. Um, how would you say that your esports career has gone so far? Pretty good. We just finished making the, the lab. That was a long time fundraising project, and we're four zero in my game right now, so I guess it's pretty good. Very nice. It's very nice to have all the computers. Um, are you? Really enjoying baseball this year? I am a lot more than I thought I would. We actually have a winning record and hit the ball, so that's fun. That's really good. I I know you like music. What would you say are your top three artists? Probably Uzi and J Cole and Kanye. That's a very good list. Matches up with mine. Quote of, of the day, day with Augur. Be proud of who you are, not ashamed of how someone else sees you. Public versus private.
We're here today helping you make your decision on your college, whether or not you should attend a public or private university. For a public college, um, they tend to offer lower rates because they receive public financing for their tuition rates. And then for private colleges, um, most private colleges have higher tuition rates because money must be raised mainly by students and alumni. For uh, student diversity, in public cl colleges, um, classes are more diverse due to wider variety of majors available to study at the college. And then for private colleges, classes can be smaller due to a limited amount of majors to choose from normally. The campus life at public schools tend to have a lot more activities going on daily just because there's so many more students and they're a lot more diverse. And then campus life for private colleges, um, private schools tend to have a smaller number of teams and clubs to choose from initially. Education quality at public institutions offers students a great variety of study options for competitive tuition rates. And then besides program specialization, the biggest reason to choose a private school for most students is prestige. So whether or not you want to go to a private or public college, there are a lot of factors that will weigh into it. Um, just figure out what suits you best, apply for scholarships, and go from there. Thanks for watching Rocket Corner. Uh, come back next week.